Good morning. I'm Ali Velshi. We are live at the Kennedy uh, Space Center here uh, in Florida. You can see that countdown clock over my shoulder. It has not started yet, but we are expecting uh, that uh, space shuttle Atlantis to take off. Uh, the, the planned takeoff is 1126 Eastern. We have some weather issues down here, so we're not sure how that's going to go, but we are all here for it. Lots of people. In fact, maybe up to a million people uh, in the area to watch this launch. Two self-proclaimed space geeks, though, have a front seat uh, for history. Sarah Blasick and uh, Sarah, Sarah Blask and Todd Sipe are two of the winners of NASA's Tweet Up contest. They're getting a chance to watch the final shuttle launch live and in person, and they're with me now. Welcome to both of you. Congratulations. Tell us what this Tweet Up contest was. Sure. So it, it we there are, I think around five thousand of us who submitted a sort of brief application to NASA. Yep. And a hundred hundred and fifty of us were chosen. So it was, and, uh, and so 150, and you're all sort of enthusiasts in some way or, or other, but not connected to the space program, really. No, just general general space nerds. Yeah, I think we all have followed NASA, and yep. we like to get the updated information from them. And Great. Twitter allows us to do that. So you got here a couple nights earlier. You're, you're for the moment, uh, you're sort of having a bit of a party. You're in that last tent. You got a nice view of the operation. You're getting a little inside view of NASA. You got to speak to some people here. We got to see um, astronauts Mike Massimino. Yep. Um, yes. Who's the first guy, by the way, who tweeted from space? That's it's true. Yeah. A little controversy, but I'll let okay. you explain that. We also got a great behind-the-scenes tour of the vehicle assembly building, um, right out to the launch pad. Just a great day yesterday. Sarah, oh, you are from Houston. Uh, you, you're a bit of an adventurer. You're a sled dogging guide. Uh, what do you do in the rest of your life? Uh, I, I work in communications now, and and was a journalist in in a past life. So I, I'm, yeah. That's so you're just curious. You want to be here. You love space. I, I. There is no place on earth I would rather be right now. It's it's definitely a history making day. Todd, you teach science to middle school students. Astronaut Leroy Chow was with me a few minutes ago and he was saying uh, one of the great things about the space program and the shuttle program is the number of kids it inspired to get into the space program or at least become engineers or or, or become pilots or, or get into something to do with science. Yeah, or to become teachers. And or teach to become teachers. Science. That's right. Yeah, you know, Apollo was my parents' generation spacecraft. The space shuttle is our generation spacecraft. So I can't wait to see what my kids are going to do um, with the next generation of spacecrafts because they're going to be the ones who design it and build it. And by the way, all of these astronauts will tell you that at some point they were inspired by a teacher somewhere yeah. who, who made science accessible to them. So that's a, that's a big deal. Uh, tell me about this, this controversy about the tweet. Well, apparently um, astronaut Massimino said that he wasn't able to tweet live from space. He had to actually email it back to the uh. ground and then they would send it out via the Twitter, but there was another astronaut who actually figured out the link and got it to come from Interesting, all right. But but it's become an important part of things. The, and what are you guys doing now? What's the activity? You, you'll be, you're, you're in that tent, I guess they've got some refreshments for you. Yeah. yeah. We'll be in there all day today. Um, there'll be a couple more astronauts. I think um, Commander Bob Crippen is scheduled to come right. in and talk to us um, a little bit later on today. But then we're just watching the countdown clock. That's like great. Everybody just like else everybody else is. Bob Crippen's yes. actually going to be with us as well. Here we'll be chatting with him. Uh, great to ha see you guys. Congratulations! Thank you. Uh, Thank you. And, and uh, give a big shout out to all your folks back there who uh, who I know are going to be really enthusiastic. I suspect when this thing launches, we're going to hear that and we're going to hear some great cheers yes. from uh, your tent over right. there. Todd Thank and you. Sarah, thanks so much. Thank you. And we are just hearing now that a decision on the launch, on whether or not to go ahead with this launch as planned, is going to be made in about 30 minutes. This is just in from NASA. They're taking a look at the weather situation. The tanks are fueled. The shuttle's fueled. The astronauts are fed. They're suited up. Uh, they are about to go into a briefing. They are going to make a decision. We've got shots of the firing uh, room, the room where they, uh, where they, they, they launch this. That's what you're looking at. Uh, momentarily we'll just give you a shot of this but they are all ready as you can see there aren't big meetings going on these are people ready to go when they get the word uh, to go at right now it is scheduled for 1126 a.m. Eastern time uh, a few hours from now we'll get an update for you in about 30 minutes Christine one way or the other uh, everybody around here is saying uh, they'll stay here, this thing's going to launch, and they're going to be here to witness history. Wow. I the mean, other thing is that's so interesting about it is they say that they're going to make this call so that the astronauts can go back and get some sleep for, for tomorrow's possibility. How do you go from that right. amount of adrenaline, knowing that you're going to launch, to, well, totally I guess I'll get agree some with sleep? You. <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I don't know that I'd be able to sleep. These guys must be very well trained at that. I think they're actually like machines. I know. Uh, no question it's about that. All right, Alec. Like, so person. we'll check in with you again soon. In 30 minutes, we'll know for sure whether there'll be a launch. Base shuttle Atlantis is all fueled up and ready to make that final voyage of the 30-year shuttle program. 30-year-old shuttle program. And in fact, we are going to be finding out in less than 30 minutes whether or not this mission will be a go. It's, it's a weather call. 30% chance that it will be a go. 70% chance, unfortunately, that weather could get in the way. But if that's the case, they'll try again tomorrow and then Sunday. That shuttle Atlantis on its final mission. Allie Belshi is there. Hey, Allie. Hey, uh, it is, uh, winds just picked up here, but what we do have is news that very shortly we're going to get word on whether they want to go ahead with this launch so that they don't get those astronauts all the way there to the launch pad. They're not there right now. They're dressed, they're ready, they're fed, uh, but they're going to make a decision based on the weather out here. Boy, it is beautiful one way or the other, uh, but uh, we're waiting for that. The final countdown, NASA and close to a million spectators on the ground hoping the weather won't delay history. The final flight of the 30-year shuttle program on This American Morning. And good morning to you. What an exciting Friday, July 8th. Welcome to a special edition of American Morning. We are covering the final, final launch of the shuttle. I'm Kieran Chetri. And I'm Christine Romans. Uh, Al is in Florida this morning, and he's there for us uh, covering the morning's shuttle launch. Good morning, Allie. Good morning, Christine and Karen. I got to tell you, I'm a little emotional about it. When you just showed that uh, that archival footage of, of uh, some of the moments in the shuttle uh, program, I mean, it's, it's been 30 years. We're live here at Kennedy Space Center in Florida, counting down the hours and the minutes until the final launch ever of the Space Shuttle Atlantis and the shuttle program. It is scheduled for 1126 Eastern Time today. Let me show you a few really great pictures of, of uh, live pictures. Here's a, a view from the top. There's a few uh, guys in orange suits uh, close to the bottom. They're, they're looking for ice. They are uh, they are checking to make sure that none of the condensation has turned into ice. They're, you know they got to check everything. Uh, there's something called a firing room. That's the place where they're going to. You'd think of it as a control room. They're going to uh, determine. Uh, they're going to launch it from there. That's the that's the control room. Everybody's there. They're ready to go when it happens. Uh, and we've got various other pictures that we can show you about them getting ready. This is called the white room that you're looking at. It's uh, it's where they they get into the capsule, where they get into the uh, shuttle. You don't see anybody there, but over the last little while we've seen people going. Back Back and forth and finally there is a shot uh, of the profile the side of the space shuttle atlantis this is mission 135 135 for uh the space shuttle program it will be the final mission mission now we are just minutes away from a very very important decision this is the go or no go decision for today there were a few violent storms here yesterday and nasa says there's a 70 percent chance of a scrub. Now we should know NASA's decision in about 15 minutes on whether or not they are going to scrub the launch for today uh, or for put it on for later today or for tomorrow. They basically don't want these final four, final four astronauts sitting on that launch pad or sitting in the shuttle. They'd rather let them go and get some sleep. We're bringing you every step of the final four astronauts uh, this morning. Right now they are being briefed on the weather situation before we get briefed. They'll be suiting up in about five minutes from now at 7.06, assuming that they're getting the go-ahead. At 7.36, they will head to the launch pad. At 8.06, they'll step onto the launch pad and board the space shuttle Atlantis for its final flight. A lot of preparation time on the plane, on the actual uh, shuttle. The bird, as we call it, is being fueled up right now. It's ready to go. NASA will make that decision, as I said, on whether or not to scrub today's launch in the next few minutes. There were close calls yesterday with some lightning. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but a lightning uh, a strike uh, near the shuttle. Uh, you take a look at this. Watch carefully. There you go. You see it there. We'll show it to you again. It had NASA engineers scrambling to find out whether there was any damage to the shuttle or the launch pads, electronic and electrical equipment. That's the issue. A lot of people say to me, this thing is sturdy. This thing goes out into space. It travels millions of miles. Why would weather have an impact on it? Because it's got a lot of very serious electronics uh, that can't be ruined by lightning. The countdown did not stop, however. Uh, Chad Myers, who knows more about why these things can't fly in that kind of weather, is keeping an eye on the skies for us this morning from here. He's at the visitor center. Uh, Chad, what are conditions looking like? You know, I, I know you think that you had those beautiful shots. I have the best shot. I'm going to trump you right now, Allie. Take a look at the sky. I haven't seen blue in Florida for days, and all of a sudden, it broke out. People are coming to us, you know, what's going on? Are they going to fly? Are they going to fly? 
This looks way better than we thought it would at this time. The sun comes out a little bit, burns more of the clouds off, and we fly today. You can't fly through cirrus clouds from an old thunderstorm because you could actually get lightning to hit the shuttle. You can't fly through rain because they don't want the shuttle to get wet. All of a sudden, you got a wet shuttle, and then you're 70 degrees below zero in about one minute. You can't do that either. You don't want those, those tiles to crack. Let me show you the radar right now because we don't have any rain around our site. Now there's some rain over by Tampa, and yes, okay, it's, it's still to our southwest. It could get here, but we have a very nice window, a window that we shouldn't even have because of a tropical wave that's just west of Key West. And so, hey, we'll take the sunshine, we'll take the clear skies and launch this thing today, and we all have a good time. Allie. All right, Chad, I know you're, uh, you are you uh, are a fairly well-balanced guy, but you're sounding very optimistic this morning. Let's hope you're right, uh, Chad. I'll come back to you in a little bit. For now, let's send it back to uh, New York with Kieran and Christine. I will keep an eye on everything going on down here and let you know if we get a decision. Speaking of milestones, today is it. The shuttle program, the final launch in our alley, Velshi, is down there where uh, I guess the astronauts are suiting up. They find out in just a couple of minutes yeah, right, whether weather is going to let it go. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at that shot. Uh, it's moving around now a little bit. Uh, the camera's at an angle, but that is where they are suiting up. You can see on the right side of the, sh uh, of the shot there, uh, there are some astronauts. Uh, not quite sure why we just uh, moved that camera, whoever's on it, uh, but it, there we go, there we go. There's a, there's a, okay, bottom line is they are suiting up. Uh, moments from now, we're going to get a decision uh, about, uh, I'm not sure that guy knows his stomach's on TV. Uh, we're going to get a decision about whether this is a go, no go from NASA, uh, and we will, uh, we will give you news on that. It is a historic moment here at Kennedy Space Center. Uh, Kieran, back to you, and uh, I'll take it away when we're ready to go.